Welcome to our demonstration on how to install vCenter Heartbeat 6.6 to protect vCenter 5.5. Prior to installing Heartbeat, we need to make sure that we have installed vCenter on this virtual machine, and we need to create a clone of that VM and disconnect its network adapters. Now on our primary server here, let us begin with renaming the adapters. We use public and channel respectively. Let us configure the public adapter. We add in the management IP address for this VM. We disable the DNS registration and disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. On the channel adapter, we set the IP address for the channel network. Similar to what we did on the public adapter, we disable registration for DNS and also disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. Then we go out to a network share and we create a folder where we will store the configuration backup for vCenter Heartbeat. We create a new folder and copy its path. We will specify this path during the installation. Now we locate the Heartbeat 6.6 installation file and begin the installation for vCenter Heartbeat 6.6. On the installation wizard, we click Next. We select this as the primary Heartbeat instance, accept the license agreement, and select our network type as LAN. We select that our secondary node is a virtual machine. Next, we select our channel network and enter our channel network IP address and the IP address we'll use for our secondary server. On this pop-up, we click No, because that server is currently not on the network. We select our public adapter and specify the IP address, and specify the shared or public IP address. Next, we enter the management IP address we'll use to manage these servers independently. The secondary node is currently not on the network, so we click No here. Then we rename the servers, vCenter 01A and vCenter 01B. Notice that only the installed components have check marks on them. This is a new feature in Heartbeat 6.6. We enter our administrator credentials and paste the folder path we copied earlier. The installer will copy some configuration information to the folder. When we do the secondary installation, we can redirect to this folder and it will take all the setup information we just went through. We see our pre-install checks are successful and we're ready to install. Click Next. If you're installing it via remote desktop server, You'll see this RDP disconnection when the packet filter gets installed. Next, we need to add in the DNS entries for the servers. We'll specify the shared name and then each server's management IP address. We first assign the shared name and use the IP address 192.168.110.20. Now we'll configure our hosts, vCenter 01A, and then vCenter 01B. We exit this console and click Finish and reboot the server. Now on our secondary server, we need to do the install from the console. Notice that there is no network currently and the NICs are disconnected. Ethernet 1 is our public adapter. We rename it to Public and we rename the second adapter as Channel. On the public, We'll verify if the IPs are still available. Then we go to DNS and disable Register and disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. We then add the management IP address for this node. On our channel network, we'll assign an IP address. This IP is the same one we assigned to the channel during the primary server installation. Disable DNS registration and NetBIOS. Connect the network adapters. Next, we go to the shared network folder we created, copy its path, and begin the installation. Specify that this is our secondary server. Paste the path we copied, and the installer configures the rest automatically. Next, we select the channel adapter and the public adapter. 
we give an administrator username and password that has the rights to rename this server on the domain. We see our rename was successful. Click Finish and restart the server. We go back to the first server we configured. We open the Manage Server console for vCenter Heartbeat. We access the local host, and we see that both nodes are up and replicating, and all services are started. Next, we need to configure the vCenter plugin. Click Edit, enter an administrator username and password, and the administrator at vSphere.local password for the SSO account, and click OK. We verify that everything is running on primary and not on secondary, and our file systems synchronized. Now let's do some tests. We'll fail over the secondary. We make it active, and we notice that all the applications are stopped on the primary and the networks are switched. We see a brief disconnection, and then the applications are started on the secondary, and we're replicating back the other direction. Let's make the primary active again. We see the reverse order in progress, and we see that all applications stop. The secondary on the network is stopped, and we've started replicating the primary back to the secondary again. We go to the secondary and see the recovery point is zero millisecond, as it was expected. This concludes our demonstration on how to install vCenter Heartbeat 6.6 .6 to protect vCenter 5.5. Thank you.